Broncos country. Welcome back to the Broncos Podcast Network and YouTube for the latest edition of Broncos Now. I'm your host, Sydney Jones, and for today's episode, I am standing here in London outside Wembley Stadium. So coming up, we'll hear from head coach Nathaniel Hackett, quarterback Russell Wilson, and safety Justin Simmons as they spoke to the media after practice at the Harrow School in London. I'll also have the latest injury report, and I sat down with Broncos team president, Damani Leach. All that and more coming up. Following the team's arrival yesterday, the players were back out on the field for their first practice in London on Wednesday. We heard from head coach Nathaniel Hackett after practice, and he discussed the travel out here and his previous experience here in London. They really wanted to get out here early. Uh, obviously, it's an amazing experience to be out here in another country. And uh, so they've done a great job up to this point. Uh, been on time for everything, uh, really enjoying it, embracing it, and just even the travel out here and everything. I thought the guys had a lot of pep in their step today, which was great to see. This is my fifth time doing this, coming out here, and I uh, have enjoyed it every single time, and we've done it different ways. We've done it when we come out on Thursday, uh, or fly Thursday, get in on Friday, and then I wanted to try this one out. I, I think the guys really were excited about being here in the climate, getting their bodies acclimated, and uh, enjoying the scenery, enjoying the experience. So uh, we wanted to be sure we gave them that. Russell Wilson also talked about the flight here and what he did to stay busy during those eight hours. I don't really get jet lag too often. You know, I don't. I don't really. Um, you know, I've traveled enough to to get you know kind of get my system down. But uh, yeah, for me, I was on the plane the first two hours. I was. Uh, uh, first two hours, about eight, was eight hours flight here. That's, that's the first two hours I was watching the film, get, watching all the cut ups and everything else. And then for the next four hours, I was doing treatment on the plane. I was walking up and down the aisles. Everybody was knocked out. I was doing high knees and working on my, working on my legs and everything else. You know, making sure I'm ready to rock. Uh, so that was good. And then the last two hours, the, the last hour of that, I, I watched. I fell asleep for one hour, and then I watched the film the rest. So. Uh, I felt felt good to go once we got back, and then we had you know coaches did a great job. We um, Coach Landau and the, and the whole coaching staff they had us um, do a little movement. So we got here, did a little movement, got in the I did my pool workout, did all that, and then uh, I don't know I maybe maybe rested for about two three hours once I got home, and I feel great. Coach Hackett also gave an update on Russell and said that he's trending in the right direction to play on Sunday and that he did quite a bit of work today at practice. Russell then commented on how he's feeling this week compared to last. Yeah, I mean, I feel great, uh, ready to ready to roll. Um, you know, I'm super locked in and ready to uh, hopefully get a big win in, in London. Obviously, uh, this would be a, a, a key game for us. It's a really good football team we're playing. Uh, I think both of our records don't necessarily represent who we are. And uh, so I think that um, there's going to be a lot of great football. It would be cool to play back in London again. I remember the last time I got to play here, uh, it was pretty special. So, um, you know, the environment is amazing. You know, it's world class. So. Um, I'm, I'm excited to get rolling. We had a good practice today. Guys have been focused. We had a great team dinner last night. Guys are really bonded and connecting, so um, we're, we're ready to rock. The team heads into Sunday's matchup versus the Jags on a four-game losing streak and has received a ton of criticism in recent weeks. Russell Wilson spoke on that and how he's drowning out the noise. You know, I've been trying to uh, just stay focused on our team and focus on, on us getting better as a collective group and not worrying about the outside noise um, because the thing is, is that we can control the outside noise by how we play. And that's for everybody. That's that's started with me. It's starting with everybody across the team, um, to our coaches, to everybody. All we're all in it. It's this thing together, and we know that. And we're excited about that because we feel like that's something that we can control. Even though as hard as it's been, it hasn't been exactly what we wanted to be. Um, you know, storms don't always last, and uh, you know this one's not going to last because we're going to work work our tails off and, and work through it. And we're going to be we're going to try to be the best we can possibly be. I think Coach Hack is a tremendous coach. Um, he's he's worked his butt off. Yeah, same with the rest of the coaching staff and. And as us players, we're working our butts off. It just hasn't come come to fruition yet, how we've wanted to as a collective group. And uh, like I said, um, you know, uh, it starts with one day at a practice, one day at a time. You know, you, you you can't build everything in one day. You just gotta you gotta make it happen today, and uh, make one thing one one moment at a time. We heard Justin Simmons say a few weeks ago that the Chargers game was a must win, but this game here at Wembley Stadium on Sunday is even more important. You know, I, I've said it a few times. Um, I know I said it, uh, you know, Chargers week. You know, we were heading to, to, to L.A. for, you know, the Monday night game. Um, it was a must win. But, um, I mean, this this one's the biggest game, But I mean, by far. Um, you know, a chance for us to, to get a win heading into the bye. Um, you know, hopefully get some guys back, um, you know, that, that are kind of banged up and injured. Um, get them back healthy and, and, you know, make a late run here you know at the latter half of this season 
um, you know, to give ourselves a fighting chance to get into the playoffs. And so, um, but all that starts with this game, you know, on, on Sunday and finding a way to win. Um, Got to walk out of that stadium and, and Wembley with a win. Simmons also talked about the threat that Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence poses this weekend. Yeah, uh, he looks he looks way more confident in year two. Um, you know, they offensively they they do such a good job of of getting explosives, and uh, I think they've been averaging like 400 yards um, per game. You know, the last few games, um, you know, it's just not. Uh, not necessarily easy to do, you know, and they, they go up, they've gone up against a lot of great defenses. I think, um, you know, the, the Texans, you know, most recently they're, they're like a top, you know, whatever defense in this league. And, um, you know, so that you could see that they're being challenged week in and week out uh, from an offensive standpoint. So uh, we have our work cut out for us. Um, you know, ETN's a great runner. Um, they do a good job of, of finding ways to get him the ball in space. Um, I mean, their, their weapons at, at tight end and receiver, it's, it's just like a the never ending cycle. Um, you know, they do good good job with screens. Um, they do a good job with the RPOs. And I think what makes their offense really, you know, really go is is Trevor, right? And the fact that he can he can pick apart the defense, see see what he likes, see what he doesn't like, get the ball out of his hands pretty fast and just get the ball to his playmakers. And so uh, defensively for us, man, we, you know, from from top down, from you know, covering giving our guys a chance up front to get to the quarterback, to get some sacks, um, you know, to uh, stopping the run up front, you know, to put them in passing situations where we can kind of get after them a little bit. Um, you know, those are obviously some of our goals, but um, I think they're doing a great job. And as we wrap up the top news of the day, let's take a look at the injury report. Cornerback Isang Bassi, safety Caden Stearns, offensive lineman Cam Fleming, wide receiver Tyree Cleveland, outside linebacker Baron Browning, and defensive lineman Mike Purcell all did not participate today, while quarterback Russell Wilson and inside linebacker Josie Jewell were limited. Cornerback K1 Williams was a full participant. And earlier today, I had the opportunity of sitting down with Broncos team president Damani Leach as he discussed the importance of playing in an international game. We're sitting down with Broncos team president Damani Leach here in London. Damani, first and foremost, how excited is the organization to be here in London this week and to be playing in an international game on yeah. Sunday? Yeah, no, it's, it's incredibly exciting. It's great to, to represent the league. Um, you know, playing internationally is an important league initiative. And so for us to sort of have our turn to do that um, and to play internationally is great. It's just such a great way to grow fans for the league, but also for our team. Trying to grow fans internationally is incredibly important. Yeah, what are some of the events the team has planned this week while yeah. in London? Yeah, so so certainly on the team side, I think, you know, it's, it's a normal week. You know, they're getting work in. Um, but, you know, they get a chance to, you know, explore and do some sightseeing and get a little dinner here and there. But, you know, we also bring out a number of our partners with us. And so this is a great experience for them. You know, a few of them got to fly on the team plane. Um, you know, they're staying in the hotel with us and they're out right now actually doing a lot of sightseeing and things like that. You know, from a logistics standpoint, what is it like executing a big trip like this? Yeah, Op operationally, you know, to some extent it is, it's like an away game, yeah. um, but definitely we're here for a longer period of time. I think I saw something like, you know, 20,000 pounds of equipment we brought with oh us. Um, you know, some of it we had to put on a boat and ship out a number of weeks ahead of time. Um, so it's the same, but it's different in, in a lot of important ways. And that's why I think getting out here earlier is, is probably smart as far as just getting your body acclimated and right. getting adjusted to sleep schedules. Yeah. Well, Damani, considering your background in the league, what is the importance of playing in an international game? And can you kind of talk about some of the strides the league has taken in recent years in that regard? Yeah, certainly. I mean, this was this was my job in yeah. my <laughs> in my previous role. And, you know, the league is in a very strong position in the United States, certainly. Um, but when we look at our ability to grow internationally, really putting our teams and our players out front and giving people an opportunity to connect authentically uh, is incredibly important. And so right. playing games in different markets, we've been doing it, particularly regular season games. We started in 2005 in Mexico City and have just started to play more and more games. And it lets fans connect with us, and it's, uh, it's really special. Well, Damani, as you know, the Broncos have secured their IHMA in Mexico, and obviously we're here playing in London this week. What type of priority does this team have in some of these you know, initi international initiatives that we're involved in? Yeah, yeah. So certainly, obviously, our fan base in, in Denver and Colorado is incredibly important to us. But when we talk about Broncos country, that's global. It's borderless. And so we know we have a tremendous fan base in Mexico. That's our, our, our number one priority in terms of growing international fans, but also just being around here. I think our players have seen it. I knew it already. Right. Um, but there's a number, not just of NFL fans, but Broncos fans here in this community. We're going to have you know, fan meetups in a pub, 
uh, later on this week, and we've got over you know 20,000 fans on Facebook who are Broncos fans, and so we know we have a significant fan base here. So it's going to be really exciting to see them connect with us throughout Absolutely. the weekend. Well, we'll be excited to see them at Wembley Stadium on a Sunday. Damani, for you, you've been on the job now for a couple months. How's it been? Yeah, it's been great. It's it's really been great. You know, it's still it's it's been about two months. So right. <laughs> um, still doing a lot of listening and learning, getting to know the staff. Obviously. Our ownership group, Rob, Greg, and Carrie are just tremendous. They're incredibly engaged um, in person, over email, text, phone, uh, very engaged. And, um, you know, it's been really great, you know, getting to know our staff, getting to know our fans, getting to know our partners has all been really good. I know you just touched on it, but how's it been working with the ownership group? Yeah, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're great. Um, you know, it's, it's a world-class group. You obviously, Rob, Greg, and Carrie, but then, you know, Melody, um, and Condoleezza and Sir Lewis Hamilton, who, who had a chance to Saw come to LA. our game in L.A., yeah. which was it was great spending time with him on the sidelines. And I think for him, you know, being that close to the action and seeing how big the players are, how fast they move. Right. Um, <laughs> but they're just, you know, they're incredible business people. They ask a lot of questions. Um, you know, they really care about the club. You know, when they talk about, right, our vision is to be the best club to play for, cheer for, and work for. They incredibly very much care about that. Last one for you, Damani. I know the team announced that they're going to be wearing a unique uniform yeah. combination yeah. on Sunday. How did that come about? Yeah, so that was great. We, we had a meeting uh, just a few weeks ago with our captains, you know, talking about our uniforms, trying to get their input and their thoughts. And um, that was one of the first things they mentioned. They're like, you know, we'd love to wear white on blue. And we're like, really? really? Okay, well, let's let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. So I'm excited. So we just we just announced that on social media. A lot of yep. excitement around that. So it'll be fun to see this weekend. Yep, it'll be great. Damani, can't thank you enough for taking the time and sitting down yeah. with me and it's going to be a fun week here in London. It will be, definitely. Thank you. Well, that'll do it for today's episode of Broncos Now. Broncos Country, thanks so much for tuning in today and every day. I hope you meet me right back here on the Broncos Podcast Network and YouTube tomorrow from London. I'll see you all then.